I just feel like the most fortunate person on the planet to be back um, playing this character again. And getting a new, uh, a chance to really dive in uh, to the character of Donatello, we see a lot more emotion from him this time, a lot more depth than we've certainly seen from film one, but also I think uh, getting, getting a look inside uh, of the relationships between all four brothers. It doesn't hold back. It starts right away from the beginning. You've got, you've got Mikey uh, at this Halloween parade and you see that he wants to be human. He wants to be out in the world and be accepted. And it's gonna take the whole arc of the film for him and for us to realize that what we have as turtles is unique and special and that that in and of itself is something to embrace. And you don't need to try and fit in uh, especially if you're a superhero, do you want to save humanity or do you want to blend in with them? And you can't blend in with them if you want to rescue them in our circumstances. So it, it, is, a, it is definitely a weighty decision for these guys in this film. It's two years later, so they've been keeping the peace in New York City as best they can, but now Shredder is uh, being transported to a more secure prison upstate, and they realize that he's gonna get, the foot are gonna try and break him out, so they have to immediately uh, get out there and, and see if they can save the day. Tyler Perry brings uh, such a great character to this piece. We see him in a way that we haven't seen him before. He's got the bow tie and kind of the, uh, the nerdy demeanor. And I think fans are really gonna um, embrace him coming into, uh, into this film because it's just so different, uh, it's such a departure for him, but it really works. It really, um, it really brings another element to the Turtle movies to have a Tyler Perry, uh, you know, uh, come into the fold. And I think he fits in uh, very well. Steven's awesome. I mean, coming off of a show like Arrow, he's no stranger to the superhero genre, but um, he's a really nice guy. And uh, I think he, he, he brings a lot of uh, energy and youth to the character of Casey. We haven't seen Casey Jones in a while. I mean, I think I saw him in the first Turtle movie back in the 90s and then haven't seen uh, much or any of them until now. So it's great to bring that character back back into the, uh, the Turtle zeitgeist, as it were. Dave Green is a fantastic addition to this film. And I think he was the perfect director for this film because of the amount of heart that this film has and we're seeing this this the, the emotional depth of these of these guys and they're really a, a family the turtles are a family and if you take dave's previous work on something like earth to echo and the heart and uh you know the performances that he pulled from those from those kids he really is the perfect guy to come in and take a family of the four turtles teenagers and really bring out in them uh all the necessary elements to tell this story with with as much heart as it has and uh and working with him was grace uh, working with dave was was fantastic he's a very kind man and he's very open to your ideas and so i think it works out as kind of a perfect collaboration because if you bring something to the table and he's got an idea you can kind of mesh those things 